You can see firsthand the destruction that powerful winds can cause to our home and our environment. Our bodies are also affected. For many El Pasoans, springtime brings persistent allergies, but they can last even after the winds have subsided. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez joins us live now. Rosemary. Earlier this week, we felt those powerful winds. Today, we're feeling a bit more moderate winds. But even though El Paso winds are still feeling wheezing and sneezing and a running nose, but it all means your body is fighting back. Induce constriction of the bronchial tubes, swe internal swelling of the tubes, decreasing the, uh, uh, the passage of, of air. The effects of sandstorms can be severe. With the start of allergy season, pollen counts increase. Can easily irritate the airways and lead to cough, increased um, secretions in the nose and the throat. What happens to your airwaves is simple. The particles enter your body and your body starts working. Those allergic reactions are a defense mechanism. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get rid of, of all that junk and rid ourselves from those pollutants. It's, it's, it's a symptom, it's bothersome, but it's a protective mechanism to keep us out of trouble. But the reactions aren't just in your airwaves. They can also appear on your skin, like eczema flare-ups. And for those who have had COVID, it can make your allergies more severe. We still see these patients come in complaining of not only the lingering symptoms that come from the long hauler syndrome, mm -hmm. but also by the acute exacerbation of the season with the exposure to dust storms, allergies, changes in weather. And as a result, they are more prone to this and could experience it more frequently. Uh, do tend to irritate them and increase the ease with which they become more symptomatic, more short of breath, more cough. And both those doctors told me that if you have allergy medicine to take it because many times patients don't and their symptoms become more severe. But for now, reporting in West El Paso, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. All right, Rosemary, we can